Hey everybody, Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. It is 6.45 Friday morning, TGIF. Again, I'm on the beach at Pelican Bay, down south of Vanderbilt Beach in North Naples, Florida. Getting our first look at the beach. Cloudy skies, some rain out in the Gulf. Red drift algae on the beach. Humid. <laughs> 80 degrees, gonna get up to 90, 92. Water temperature 86. But you know what? Still beautiful. Just being at the beach in the morning is glorious. Hey, this morning's first look is brought to you by our friends at Slancha Irish Whiskey. Slancha, the toast of Ireland. Cheers, here's to your health, Slancha. Find your Slancha moment at slanchawhiskey.com. I didn't see as many new sea turtle crawls, the tracks on the beach as I did yesterday morning walking down here. I only noticed one new one. Yesterday was a really busy day. Wow, for our sea turtles. Well, last night, night before last. <laughs> Let's get it straight, Rob. By the end of the morning, they had counted 235 nests on this stretch of beach here. Pelican Bay and Vanderbilt Beach, 235. I'm sure there'll be some more today. We'll check it out during my beach walk. Those two nests that I said showed some potential, the crawls that I said showed some potential for becoming a nest yesterday during our first look video, I was right, both of them were good. They became nest 234 and nest 235. So yesterday morning, we saw this set of sea turtle tracks climbing up onto the berm, stopping just on top of the berm at the edge, and I said, you yeah, know, kind of close to the edge. I wish she'd gone up a little further, but I did see some potential with that loose sand, that spray there. Well, here we are the next morning. And there is nest number 234. I was right. How about that? Nest 234. So cool. So cool. All right, I'm a little further up the beach now. This is a new crawl over here on my right. This is the only one that I noticed this morning, walking down from the south end of Vanderbilt Beach. This is still Pelican Bay Beach. You can see she came up onto the berm here. It's pretty darn steep. It's actually, uh, there we go. I got up without falling on my face. You can see the tracks here. This does show some potential for being a new nest. Not quite as much potential as those two that I saw yesterday, but you can see some signs of digging here, some loose sand, some spray over here. So there might be a new nest there when Marcus comes and checks on him this morning. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I want to go show you one more nest and then we're going to wrap up this morning's video. Okay, this is some video from yesterday morning. You may have remember me referring to this crawl as a mega crawl just because she came up so high onto the beach. This female loggerhead crawled up the berm, went all the way across the new sand berm, went up into the area where our dunes used to be before Hurricane Ian. We saw some loose sand there. We saw some spray. I said, I don't know, this has some potential. Well, here we are the next morning, and lo and behold, here is nest number 235. I called both of them yesterday. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool, nest 235. All right, I want to give you one last look at the beach here before ending this morning's first look. Thanks for hanging out with me. 
Another quick shout out to Slancha Irish Whiskey. Slancha, the toast of Ireland. Cheers, here's to your health. Find your Slancha moment at slanchawhiskey.com. Hey, hit that share button if you like what you saw this morning. Remember to respect our sea turtles, respect their nests. Stay away from them. If you happen to come across one on the beach, keep your distance. Both the mamas and the babies. Pretty soon we're going to start seeing little babies. So cool. Until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Tally ho, my friends, tally ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.